Hey guys, so today I thought I would film a video showing you guys my red lipstick collection and do lip swatches of each of the lipsticks that I have. I thought this would be a good time of the year to do this just because it's like red lipstick season because it's the holidays and I thought this might be kind of helpful for some of you guys out there that are trying to find good red lipsticks and maybe need some recommendations. This first one that I have on my lips right now is a Revlon Lip Butter and this is in the color Candy Apple. I feel like it's super flattering on warm skin tones but I feel like cool skin tones could still wear this lipstick. Um, the lip butters are just super super moisturizing. With this lipstick though it is fairly long wearing. I feel like the darker or more vibrant lip butters last a little bit longer than the lighter ones. If you were to eat something this would wear off and you need to reapply it but it would last you I would say at least a good four to five hours if you didn't eat or drink anything. Um, but it's just a very, very nice red. I'll try to do swatches. I don't know how great it will turn out. So this next red lipstick is another Revlon Lip Butter. And this is in the color Cherry Tart. This one isn't as bright or as pigmented as the Candy Apple, but it's still a really good red. Um, I feel like this one might be a little bit more flattering on cooler skin tone. I don't feel like it would be unflattering on warm, warm skin tone girls, but I don't know. This one is a tad bit more wearable just because it's not as bright and it's not as out there. I don't find that this one is as long wearing as the Candy Apple one. Um, and like I said, it's a little bit more sheer, so I'll just go ahead and swatch this one and show you compared to Candy Apple. So see, this is, what is it, Cherry Tart, and this is Candy Apple. So you can see that Cherry Tart is not near as pigmented as Candy Apple, and it's a little bit more pinky toned um, than the Candy Apple one. This next red lipstick that I have on is a Meb, uh, Meb, Meb, Meb. I'm like mumbling. <laughs> is a Maybelline Color Vivid in the color Neon Red. And this red is a very orange red color. So if orangey reds are not very flattering on you, I would say steer clear from this one. It is kind of out there though. So it's not for the faint of heart. If you are kind of scared to wear red lips, I would say you might not want to wear this one because it is really bright, but it is really flattering on warm skin tones like my skin tone. Honestly, I haven't really worn this lip color enough to know how long wearing it is. It is really, really moisturizing, and I really like the finish of these Maybelline Color Vivid lipsticks. Um, now, my other Color Vivids that I do have, they are pretty long wearing, so I my guess is this one would be really long wearing as well. I feel like the more pigmented a lipstick is, especially at the drugstore, I feel like the more long wearing it is. This is a really, and it's also a really opaque lipstick too. Like I'll just show you. Like here's one swatch of it there and you can see how opaque it is. It's definitely more in the same color family as that Candy Apple lipstick. This next lipstick color I have on is another Maybelline Sen Color Sensational Vivid, and it's in the color On Fire Red. And this one is a little, I feel like it's not as bright and daring as the other Vivid in On Fire Red. No, this is On Fire Red on which one neon red it's not as bright and out there as that one this one is slightly toned down this has more of like a pink base to it so if your skin tone is more cool tone this lipstick would probably look a little bit better on you um that's kind of my rule of thumb when it comes to red lipsticks if you're more warm skin tone go for the reds that are more orangey kind of based if you're cooler skin tone, go for the reds that are a little more pink or blue tone based. It's really moisturizing, like I said. Um, I don't really know how long wearing this one is either. I'm sorry. I just, like I said, I don't really have places to really wear red lips. My guess is it is pretty long wearing. It's just really pigmented. Um, I'll just go ahead and swatch it to show it with the other reds. Like, see, you can see there, this is more blue tone based than the other ones that I've swatched. And it is very, very pigmented. Okay, this red that I have on my lips now is really intense. It's a really intense red lip. It's very moisturizing. Um, it's a L'Oreal lipstick. And it is their L'Oreal Color Riche lipstick. And it's in the color Penelope's Red. The number is 320. I've had this lipstick for a very long time. 
Um, but they used to do, like, celebrity, like, they used to have celebrities, like, featured with certain makeup colors and stuff like that. And this was supposed to be Penelope Cruz's red lipstick color that she would wear on her lips. So they might actually have the exact same product but just a different name. Cause I feel like they don't really do that with their products anymore. So just look for the number 320 and see if you can find that at the drugstore if you are interested in this color. But this lipstick is so, so moisturizing and super, super creamy. This is definitely one of those lipsticks that you have to have a lip liner with or it will bleed out big time. But it is really moisturizing and this lipstick does last a very long time on your lips. Um, it's like kind of tacky like I don't know how to explain it but it is a really good red lipstick and I feel like this is a very true like red color like I feel like when I see this red lipstick it reminds me of like Marilyn Monroe lips so let me go ahead and swatch this for you you can just tell like how creamy this lipstick is I feel like it's not I mean it is still pretty pigmented I don't feel like it's as pigmented though as the Maybelline ones but it's still pretty pigmented and you can tell there that it's more of like a true red like this red here which was I think on fire red is more pinky and then the neon red right here is more orangey so you can tell that this is a little bit in between that the next red lipstick that I have on it is a stain type product and it's from L'Oreal I can't remember what these lip products are called. I'm going to have to like research it and put it in the video or put it down in the description bar. Um, but they're the ones that are like have these little like I don't know doe foot but they're like shaped like a leaf type applicator. And um, this is in the color Endless Red. And it's really weird because in the product itself it doesn't look like a red. It looks kind of like a mauve color but once it dries on your lips it gets really red. Um, I'm just going to swatch it on my hand. It's a really weird lip product. Um, it's right here. It's really glossy. It's really shiny. And this stuff does last a really long time on your lips. It doesn't feel like a typical lip stain and it's not really drying. Like it feels like tacky like on your lips. I don't really know how to explain the texture of it, but it just feels... Sorry, I keep looking down at my mirror to kind of look at the lipstick color. Um, but it just is like really tacky type tex texture on your lips. But it lasts like forever. I wore this to the holiday party at my work last year. And I went to dinner and ate with this on. And partied all night long. And this lipstick lasted all night. Um, it did kind of wear off in the center of my lip. Um, at dinner and I did reapply it but after that like it lasted all night like this is like one of the longest wearing red lip products that I have that doesn't get really drying on my lips so if you're looking for a red lipstick or red lip product that lasts a really long time and is moisturizing I do highly recommend these I haven't tried any other shades in these so let me know down below if any of you all have tried out any of the other shades that L'Oreal makes in this lip product and let me know what shades you all recommend because I would definitely definitely like to buy some more of these I just don't know really what shades to buy this red lipstick that I have on my lips now is a Revlon lipstick it's one of their color bursts is it no super lustrous lipstick and it's in the color really red and it's a matte red lipstick now this is like my most worn red lipstick normally when I do a red lip this is the lipstick that I go for um, I don't know I just really like matte red lips and it lasts a really long time on your lips it doesn't make your lips feel really dry and I just really like the finish of it and I love the color as well so that's this one and just to show you swatch with the other ones um, it's really similar to the Penelope's red in color except for this is matte and the Penelope red is glossy Okay, I feel like my lipstick applying abilities are getting like worse and worse the more I swatch these on my lips. Um, but this next color is another Revlon Lip Butter and it's in the color Red Velvet. And this is a darker red color. It's not as out there as a lot of the other reds I showed you all. This is more toned down and it's just a deeper red it's really pretty it's more of like a brick red color I feel like a lot of people could wear this color and it would be super flattering um, I feel like it would suit both cool and warm 
skin tones and just to show you how different it is compared to the other reds. So right here is red velvet. So you can tell it's definitely different from the other reds that I've shown you so far. All right, this lipstick that I have on my lips now is another Maybelline um, Color Sensational Lipsticks. And this is in Perfect Plum. And this is a really dark, vampy red color. This is very similar to the Wet n Wild lipstick in Black Orchid, which I'm getting ready to show you guys next. Um, I do find that this one is a little bit more, a little bit more moisturizing than the Wet n Wild lipstick, but honestly, like the texture of them is very, very similar, and the color is really, really similar. So honestly, if you are into a lip color like this, I would say go for the Wet n Wild one because it's even more affordable than this Maybelline one. So yeah, if you're into those types of colors, and then just to show you what swatched with the other ones. You can definitely tell how dark and vampy it is. It's right there. And then this color is Black Orchid. So I don't know if you could tell from the lipstick I had before to this one, but they're practically the same color. This one might be slightly darker, um, but it's, well, I think that this one is definitely the better deal because it's, I think it's like $1.99 or 99 cents for this, so you can't beat it. It is still pretty moisturizing on the lips and it lasts forever. Um, so let's just show you what it looks like swatched and you can definitely tell side by side how similar they are. So Black Orchid and then the Maybelline Perfect Plum, is that what it is? Plum, Plum Perfect. So there's all the swatches so far and then I have one last lipstick I'm going to show you all. I consider this a lipstick even though it's not really a lipstick. It's the Revlon Just Bit and Kissable Balm Stain and this is in the color Adore. That's what I have on my lips right now. This is another great like brick red lipstick and or lip stain I guess and it lasts forever on your lips and it's moisturizing and yeah so that's this one and then the last like red lipstick product that I have is this it's another uh, stain from Revlon and it's the Just Bitten it's just the lip stain and the balm. I love using this lip stain um, as a base for my red for my red lipsticks. Um, you know, if you want to like prolong your red lipsticks and give them like a base to stick to and to have the red, red lipsticks last longer, I do recommend this product. It's also a really good product to just wear on its own as well. But I'm just gonna swatch it for you. So, oh, and this is in the color Gothic. So that is the lip stain right up here up top and then to show you what a door looks like swatched and a door is like one of those things you can have it really sheer or you can like build it up to where it's darker like a darker lip stain and um, so a door is up here gothic is down there and there is all my red lipsticks that i have in my red lipstick collection <laughs> swatched on my hand there so i hope that you can tell all the different colors that I have of the reds but I hope that you all enjoyed this video on my red lipstick collection so those are all the red lipsticks that I have in my collection if there are any red lipsticks that you all would recommend to me um, that I don't have definitely leave them down in the comments and if you all enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you all in my next video and I hope that you all have a wonderful day Bye-bye. And also a wonderful holiday season. Sorry, I had to throw that in. <laughs>